Hi guys, welcome back to Prinny's World. It's your girl Princess here and I'm back with another tutorial. So we got this look going on and we're going to start off with the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. And we're going to start off with the orange and that reddish shade. And we are using LA Girls Concealer in Toast today to uh, prep the eyelid. And we will also be using P. Louise Base from Refor to cut the lid per usual. So we're just using a fluffy blending brush just to uh, evenly distribute the uh, concealer onto our lid. Now we're going in with Sokoto, I believe, from the Saharan palette. It's like a vibrant red shade. I love this shade. In the crease, um, yeah, we're using like a medium dense uh, blending brush to uh, pack that color on. And you're just going to pack it on until you get the desired pigmentation that you'd like. And I want it a lot for this. Um, since I'm only using uh, two colors in my crease and they're pretty bright um, So I'm just here blending it out and then I added with another fluffy brush um, The orangey shade that's in that palette and I just put on the center of the lid and now I'm transitioning with I think it's Kiatsna. It's a taupey uh, brown shade uh, Just to blend out the edges now. We're just cutting the lid here. We're doing a cut crease Kind of with like a wing liner kind of deal yeah i didn't really know what i was going for like i didn't know where i was going with this look i kind of just did it like honestly i was just like i looked at the palette i'm like yo i want to do something i want to do something a little bit creative so um yeah we're just cutting the lid and we're winging it out guys wing that lid out and now we are packing on um, the gold shade. D I used two gold shades. Like one's like a rose gold, and I used the rose gold in the center of the lid. And then I started off with the inner part of the lid. I'll have all the names down in the description box, guys. Um, yeah, so you're just going to use a eyeshadow shader brush and just pack it on, or a flat brush. A really, any kind of small, dense brush would be able to uh, pack on this kind of color. The shimmer. So I'm just packing that on. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to just keep transitioning between the two when I add the rose gold shade. As you can see me doing here. Yeah, so just going to further pack that on, guys. And then we're going to use um, that same um, medium dense fluffy brush. I think it's a M. I think it's Morphe M441. I think that's the brush I use, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm just using it to pick up Sokoto and I'm just gonna go on the outer edge and you know like have that lines of demarcation <laughs> I love that word guys but now now I'm using like a flat brush like this is like I don't even know what kind of brush this is called but it's, I don't know it's flat but it's really fine like it's good for detailing so I'm just using that to outline my wing and I'm starting off with the black shadow and that's also from the Saharan palette um, just don't go in with liner yet guys go in with a shadow first because you can kind of like gauge where you want things to be so i'm using a shadow first to outline the wing and then i'm going to go in with um the elf liquid liner just to darken it and sharpen it up and that's it and then once i actually do um, use the liner to and i get my shape then i uh, go in with uh, another small detailing brush and i pack on that black eyeshadow shade from the Saharan palette onto the eyeliner just to set it, right? Because it's wet, so I want it to be set. So you just want to set it and forget it. <laughs> yeah, guys, so yeah, so as you can see, like I was telling you, I'm using the eyeliner here just to darken it up and sharpen it up. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, this was a really interesting look. Like, honestly, I didn't know where I was going. But you see here, I'm just packing on that black shadow to set it in place. And that's our eyes for now. Now I'm using the M. Reezy Highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills in my inner tear duct. Guys, I love this highlighter. I also use it to highlight my face. Guys, a little goes a long way with this highlighter. A dark skin woman can definitely use this highlighter. It's just all about how you apply it. I'm using um, NYX Co Cosmetics um, Jumbo Pencil in Cobalt for my waterline. I wanted a pop, like, you know, underneath um, to make it different. And I love blue. I really actually love blue on the eyes, especially on melanin rich people like myself. So I'm just lining my lower lash line and then I'm adding 
Morph Cosmetics 25L in their shade Rise Up. I added that on the lower lash line just to make it pop furthermore. Lining my lips normally with Wet n Wild Summer Brown Now, and I added NYX Cosmetics Cookie Butter and Stir Intense Butter Gloss on my lips. And voila, guys, that is the end of this tutorial. Super quick, super easy. I'm giving you face, I'm serving you pixie realness. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, guys. I got some heat coming your way. Peace. See you in my next one.